all right what's up everyone uh in today's video i'm teaching you guys how to build a website basically something just like this um if i ask you guys how do you think this was built i know many of you will be surprised that this is built without using any code and it's also built absolutely free absolutely free so here's an ex another example so this is for an architectural company as you can see the architectural company you can see all their portfolio it serves every type of need that you want you know you don't need to like overthink it the website serves the purpose you need it to serve it has all your details here is also for an engineering firm as you can see yes you might argue that the website is not so beautiful like um other website may be however this website is functional so it gets you it gets the job done so um if you go to fiverr for instance and you see okay how much are people building website if you want to build a website for your business you can see how much they are charging um and funny enough many of these guys this these fees you have to renew them because you'll be paying for hosting you'll be paying for naming so many of these people's fees is not a one-time off fee their development might be a one-time off but you can see this is uh 80 dollars this is 190 dollars this is 350 dollars so this is a lot of money that people will spend on building a website especially if you are a startup and you're just starting and this is your first business uh you don't want to spend so much on all of this um uh, websites alternatively we have other platforms like wordpress and just what many of them are, are using as well and we have platforms like shopify but as you know all these platforms for, will find a way to extract money from you one way or the other so let's see shopify let's see what someone will say to build a shopify website ah so you can see um this is is also telling you how much people are going to charge oh, this method that i'm teaching you is 100 percent free to be honest um except your hosting is completely paid for you don't need to worry about your hosting your hosting is 100 percent paid for not paid for but your hosting is free and your domain name is also free uh, of course it has a um the block spot at the end because we'll be using blogger i know many of you haven't heard that name for a long time right now but the good point about using blogger is that it makes your business highly discoverable do you get so a lot of people are going to be able to discover your brand a lot of people are going to be able to discover what your product is about and if you are building like an e-commerce website or a sales funnel we'll be using another external site that you could just attach along with a link i'll be explaining that in this video as well that way you can have your your link and you make your uh, your checkout and make your sales without having to worry too much so that's what we'll be diving into today and i hope you guys stick around and you enjoy the video all right all right so we head over to blogger so just put in blogger.com you sign in once you have an account or uh, create your account if you have a gmail and then here's where we put the name of the blog basically just the name that you want to title your blog in case you create other blogs as well just to differentiate them all right so here is the url so this place gets a bit tricky because blogspot is very common so sometimes trying to figure out what name to use what url to use can be a bit tricky because people many people have used so many of the blogspot uh, names that's tell you how common blogspot is as well so like i said they have one of the primary advantages of blogspot is the ease to which uh you will be found on a google search so um so here is the name you will put for the website basically just like you see above this is what the tabs will showcase whenever people come to your website that's the name that people will see great stuff so we're going to see how the default layout looks out so look at the default layout uh, you can see powered by blogger you can see the profile and how everything looks so we're going to try and make this look more modern more attractive so basically when you go to the theme you will see the default themes available um, we don't use any of these default themes because basically they might look attractive but they're just pretty pictures it's just pretty pictures so if you don't have those types of pretty pictures it won't work so we head over to sora sora templates just go to sora templates.com uh, we'll look through different versions that they have as you can see uh like i said it's free but uh the f templates also come for free but there are some prices that you can buy to unlock more features 
but just the free version alone enables you to do quite a lot you will able to have your standard website working quite well just with the free version so we are going to stick with the free version as you can see even on a mobile device if you're using a phone uh, you can see how everything will come out so attractively so let's even try okay this is how it looks for an iphone 12 pro uh so this so this these are other templates that we can think of that we can use i think i like this one this white uh template so maybe this is what we'll be using for the tutorial so we'll head over to download the free version and uh, once we finish downloading the free version we'll have a zip file and all we we'll need to do now is click on restore click on restore so on the zip file we're looking for the one that has the xml document xml so you can see the solo so that's what we're going to use so once we click on it and wait for it to update a bit it will take all the codes that was already written in that template and bring it into blogger so yes yeah, you can see it's restoring the team basically updating the team and here we are so you can see it's custom it's a modified team that we have from um, sora so <clears throat> we'll head over to the blog again and let's see how that looks um as you can see it looks pretty well like to be honest 50 percent of your job has already been done so you can see the url uh meetplace.blogspot.com you can see it looks great as well so 50 percent of your job has already been done so let's head over back and make some custom um, changes to the layout so over here is where we will now put in our personal information and our personal preferences every aspect of the layout of the website is broken down into layout uh, tabs that you can easily just customize you can easily just make changes to and uh, i want to remove all those images that are in the logo section so that's why you see me deleting them i want to remove all of them and in fact the whole brand logo section i'll just remove it switch it off totally so you have a lot of widgets and using those widgets is how you can so if you look at the logos down here now they all disappear so using those widgets is how you can make your custom changes so you can look, look at what our clients say i'm going to edit that as well and I can customize it to anything I wanted to say. So we head over to the widget, the widget that has what our clients say. And yeah, so over here we can change the image. We can pick up a, an image from from the computer, or we can pick up a image that is already online on the URL. We can just use that as well. So that helps. So I'm uploading an image right now. Let me just upload a logo just for example to show you guys. And then the caption that was written there, I can just change it and be like, oh, this is uh, this is so great. X, 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 X. You know, you can write as much information as you want. Uh, to be honest, you're already like more than 80% already done. Do you get so we are able to create this website in less than 10 minutes, you know, in less than 10 minutes, we're able to quickly update it with any information that we need any layout that we need so if you're a small business i highly recommend we you use this approach um all right so let's head over and make some other minor changes as you can see everything you want to change is actually here if you want to change the the logo you can change the logo if you want to change anything on the menu you can change anything on the menu or just by clicking here uh, so this image right here can also be changed you can see the link you can get another url link you can upload it yourself as well to upload the image you just need to go to pages upload it and take the save link and paste it here and you get this image updated as well so uh, any other layouts we now need to go to seller like i told you when we have like an e-commerce type of platform we want to have a ability for you to make payments so we'll be using this seller so basically links will be directed here this is this is the payment portal that we're going to use so you just create your account and once you create your account just log in once you've logged in we're going to take the link and work with it so like i said images that we want to use you can easily just pick up their url through this point so you can upload it to the pages and then just click save as and then copy it and you know add it there so yeah this is the link we are using for our product so the product uh, is like that book i told you about we can now customize it here as well as you can see 
I customize it now to click here and once you view so this is another blogger website already built you can see it changes to click here this is basically how it's done and before you know it you have a good website